Hey everybody, once again it's Wave Hoarder and today I'm going to be taking a look at updating the firmware on the Erica Sense and taking a look at some of the new kits and features available with that. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm over here at the Erica Sense website and I'm just going to scroll down here to the bottom of the page and click on where it says download the 1.2 firmware. Alright, once I got that on the SD card, meet you back at the Perkins. Okay, really quick, just going to update the firmware on the Perkins. I have downloaded from the Erica Sense website the latest firmware onto the and put it onto the SD card. Have installed that into the Perkins. Need to press down all four voice buttons. I feel like this is a crazy combo. And then turn on the Perkins. And it said once the lights start lighting up, you can let go. And there we are. We're updated. Okay, I just want to check out the kits in the kit pack too for the Perkins that are up on the Erica Sons website. So it has like, looks like 32 new kits in here to try out. So I just programmed a basic pattern to play. You got the first one. We can go through them. Okay, a few of those are pretty good. Some of them probably wouldn't use, but uh, you know, it's a good starting point. 
Then I also downloaded the kit pack one. So you can switch to the other kit pack by pressing the pattern and kit button simultaneously. Supposedly. There we go. Now it worked. Go to the second uh, bank. All right, we have no pattern. Okay. Let's go back to our kids. Well, I would say I definitely like some of the sounds in the other kit pack better, but that one had a few decent kits, I, th I think, as well. So, interesting to check it out. Definitely um, expands the Sonic palette here available to the machine a lot, I think. So, those are pretty cool. Okay, everybody, right quick, let's talk about the new features in the Perkins 1.2 update. There's an option now to change the Rombler engine samples so that you can, you know, load your own samples onto the SD card. Now it's a little, it's not uh, the greatest. I mean, your all samples together can't exceed 256 kilobyte in size and, you know, they need to be formatted a certain way. So I wouldn't say this thing is like 
becoming a full sampler or anything, but if you have, you know, your one sample you need specifically, you can load it up onto the Voice 4. There is now the uh, BBD delay sync, so you can uh, clock sync the BBD. I think this is probably the best feature in the update, personally. I'll use this all the time. Like, I wouldn't want it not clock synced. There's sequence rotation, so you can change the temple page function to uh, sequence rotation. And there's some uh, changes to the uh, mute behavior setting. Now you can change how channel mute works from muting the triggers and uh, sound to just triggers. Other than that, there's just some bug fixes in there, which is honestly, that's the main reason I wanted to do the software update was because, you know, I've encountered, unfortunately, a few bugs with the Perkins, if I'm 100% honest. Like, it's, uh, I've definitely had it, like, uh, lose audio on Voice 4 a few times, and then also uh, just completely lose audio altogether. So, yeah, that's really unfortunate, but hopefully uh, the software update will resolve that. But let's take a look at that uh, BBD clock sync. So in order to do that, you got to go into the configuration settings. And to do that, you're going to uh, press and hold the shift button and press the mod button. So to enable the BBD delay sync, uh, press the 10th key on the second row. And they, they so I printed this out here. This is their, like, new config page. So it's going to be uh, there. All right. And then I think uh, just... Okay, I have it sort of multiplying now, I guess. 